I'm Ian Brown from Thomson Cooper. Welcome to Reset Your Debt, our series of video blogs to help individuals and businesses deal with problem debt. Today I'd like to tell you about the Debt Arrangement Scheme, how it can help you deal with personal debt and who it is for. Personal debt can all too easily get out of hand. A change of circumstances can mean that affordable payments can suddenly become unaffordable. This could be due to anything from a drop in your earnings to ill health, the impact of COVID-19 on jobs or your life, or any number of personal problems that can arise and affect your income and your ability to service your debts. Whatever the cause, personal debt can easily get out of control and can lead to real debt problems for people and their families. If you live in Scotland and are struggling to pay back debts and cope with high interest payments, then a debt arrangement scheme, DAS, may be the way forward for you. Set up by the Scottish Government, the Debt Arrangement Scheme is a useful alternative to insolvency. It's an effective way of preventing aggressive court action being taken by creditors, and it allows you to manage your unsecured debts and work your way to a debt-free and much happier future. So who are debt arrangement schemes for? Debt arrangement schemes are intended for people who have and can demonstrate a regular income, they're suitable for people who can pay back their debts over a longer period, but who are currently struggling with problem debt and higher interest payments on their debt, making it harder and harder to keep up their current payments to creditors. If this is you, then a debt arrangement scheme could be the right option. To qualify for a DAS, you need to be living in Scotland, have sought the advice of a DAS-approved money advisor, have enough, enough disposable income after paying for your day-to-day -day living expenses, for example, food, council tax, travel. If you'd like more information, please contact me or one of my colleagues at Thompson Cooper. Details are at the end of this video.